بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم تو in the uh, polymer chemistry our today's topic is uh, inorganic polymers ये जो topic है inorganic polymers का uh, if you compare the organic polymers organic polymers means which usually contain the base core atom that is carbon and plus hydrogen and that can be then we have some additional sulfur nitrogen so on but then they contain that carbon atom in them so if we remove that carbon atom and instead of that carbon atom if we have a different atom from any other group from the periodic table we say it's an inorganic polymer so inorganic polymers mein kya hota hai ki we uh, inka zyada research utna zyada developed nahi hai as compared to the organic polymers so organic polymers are widely studied okay so in organic polymers we will try to have some basic concept तो बेसिकली इन ऑर्गेनिक पॉलीमर्स मींस दीज आर द पॉलीमर्स जिनमें दैट कार्बन एटम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिक पॉलीमर्स दैट हैज बीन रिप्लेस्ड बाय सम डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स फॉर एग्जांपल यूजुअली एन एलिमेंट फ्रॉम द ग्रुप थर्ड ऑफ द पीरियोडिक टेबल फॉर एग्जांपल दैट ग्रुप थर्ड वी स्टार्ट विद बोरान एल्युमिनियम गैलियम इंडियम तो आई जस्ट राइटिंग ग्रुप थर्ड थैलियम ग्रुप थर्ड में यूजली इट इज बोरान एंड एल्यूमिनियम विच इज मोस्ट कॉमन इन दिन ऑर्गेनिक पॉलिमर्स बट देन आई एम शोइंग यूट द ग्रुप थर्ड लाइकली इंड ऑफ कार्बन इन दी ऑर्गेनिक पॉलिमर्स इफ यू इंट्रोड्यूस एन एटम फ्रॉम द ग्रुप फोर्थ द ग्रुप फोर्थ इज carbon is itself carbon but i'm just showing carbon here actually we have to replace the carbon so we have carbon that is silicon that's carbon replaced by silicon that can be germanium carbon silicon germanium tin and lead likely if in the organic polymers if we replace the carbon by any atom or element by from the uh, group 5th of the periodic table uh that's nitrogen family nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth or we may have the elements replacing carbon from the group 6th that's oxygen family so it is sulfur selenium tellurium polonium to ye char groups say if we if any element from these groups usually that replaces the carbon atom in the organic polymers then it gives rise to the inorganic polymers fine now let's take some examples basic examples and then uh, We'll take example from the third group third. So from group third, this I mean, I said that usually, in this, boron or aluminium has been usually uh, replacing the carbon in the inorganic polymers. So we'll take example uh, boron hydride. So we have boron hydride. Boron hydride. It's one in organic polymer. इसमें बेसिक यूनिट जो होता है दैट इज बी एच टू आई विल शो इट द पॉलीमर सो द पॉलीमर इज लाइक दिस पी पी इस तरह से एक पॉलीमर चेन बन जाती है यहां पे सो दिस इज योर एच 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 हम यहां पे इसके स्ट्रक्चर में नहीं जाएंगे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्ट्रक्चर में कि कैसे ये बॉन्ड बनाता है जस्ट हाउ द पॉलीमर एग्जिस्ट सो इट कैन बी लाइक दिस एच इस तरह से आपका पॉलीमर दिखता है तो बेसिकली इसमें बी एच यूनिट रिपीट हो जाता है एंड देन दिस इज बेसिकली एक बैनाना टाइप बॉन्ड दैट आई विल नॉट डिस्कस हियर सो इसमें बेसिकली 
एक वन हाइड्रोजन एटम सिंगल इलेक्ट्रॉन इट्स एक्चुअली बिटवीन द टू बोर ऑन एटम सो इट्स ऑन बोथ द साइड बैन बैन सो दिस इज दिस टिपिकल बोर ऑन हाइड्राइड पॉलीमरिक स्ट्रक्चर लाइकली वी हैव वन मोर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इन ऑर्गेनिक पॉलीमर फ्रॉम द बोर ऑन फेमिली दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज बोर एज ऑल ये बहुत बार जो है कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम में आया है बोर एज ऑल The borazol is basically it's a benzene type structure. So this is your uh, boron nitrogen. So it's exactly like a benzene structure. Then we have a nitrogen here, nitrogen here, and then a boron here, and then you give one H H. So it's like H six. Instead of six carbons, we have three nitrogens and three borons in the borazol. so this is another type of inorganic polymer isme important ye cheez hai ki it has a graphite like structure in the three dimension means ka is a graphite like lamellar structure so this borazol has a graphite like structure so it's another example of inorganic polymer is this is aluminum mein we have aluminum silicates that i will not discuss here already humne uh, ion exchange resonance mein discuss kiya hai like uh, we have done this uh, इन दलमोनियम सिलिकेट्स तो एलमोनियम सिलिकेट्स में हमने एक टॉपिक अपलोडेड इन द एलमोनियम सिलिकेट्स नाउ दे आर यूज फॉर द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ द वॉटर लाइक जियोलाइट्स सो जियोलाइट्स में हमने इस टॉपिक को थोड़ा सा डिस्कस किया था सो दे आर बेसिकली मैग्नीशियम सोडियम एलमोनियम सिलिकेट्स सो that type of inorganic polymer so that this is just the major things about the inorganic polymers from this family that's the uh, group third or boron family now let us go to the some examples of the exa uh, this is from the carbon family now carbon family mein as we are uh, discussing ki we are replacing the carbon from by silicon germanium and this let's take the example from the group fourth so we have sea lanes silicon is a bahut sare examples i will take some basic examples sea lanes example of inorganic polymer so it behaves like this si it's like si h2 unit getting repeated again and again sea lanes this is the silicon h silicon h so we have hh bond here and then the things get re uh, repeated So this is long chain. It's called a C lane. S H two getting repeated. So this is example of the uh, the silicon family. One more uh, we can take from here the group fourth. For example, germanes. The so germanes may we we'll replace this silicon by the germanium atom. That's the uh, we're replacing this carbon of the organic polymers by silicon. It forms C lane. If we replace it by germanes, it's called germanes. So what I will do, I will replace it by the uh, germanium. so it's your germanium this becomes inorganic polymer now another one that's called germane now so we'll write it germanes so this is another example likely hamare paas silicon dioxide ka bhi polymer banta hai so there are many such examples silicon dioxide ka bhi polymer banta hai silicon there are many such examples of uh, the silicon polymer major jo silicon polymer mein example hai that is the zeolites like usme silicon ke sath ye aluminum and alkali alkali uh, earth metal that forms the sodium aluminum silicate so that's also the inorganic polymer so that's uh, all about the example of inorganic polymers from the group uh fourth now let's go to next group so next group is ग्रुप फिफ्थ सम टिपिकल एग्जाम्पल्स और ये दो ग्रुप्स बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है फ्रॉम द ग्रुप फिफ्थ इसमें वी हैव नाइट्रोजन फॉस्फोर्स आर्सेनिक यूजुअली जो पॉलिमर्स कॉमन है दे आर फ्रॉम फॉस्फोर्स आर्सेनिक एंड अदर्स यूजुअली फॉस्फोर्स और आर्सेनिक के आइटम्स जो है इन ऑर्गेनिक पॉलिमर्स में काफी कॉमन है एग्जाम्पल 
पॉलीफॉस्फोरिक एसिड टिपिकल तो पॉलीफॉस्फोरिक एसिड पॉलीफॉस्फोरिक एसिड तो पॉलीफॉस्फोरिक एसिड में जो यूनिट रिपीट होता है दैट इज दिस वन पी डबल बॉन्ड ओ ओ एच तो डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फॉस्फोरिक एसिड ओ एंड फ्रॉम दिस साइड वी हैव पी डबल बॉन्ड ओ ओ एच oxygen oxygen and then the, it will get continued here so this is the chain of phosphorus oxygen linkage called a polyphosphoric acid it's an example of inorganic polymer where we have carbon atoms you know uh, the, the major uh, the uh, uh, element which replacing the carbon that is phosphorus so this is polyphosphoric acid now ab yahan pe kuch important isme objectives jo aate hain exam mein कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स में अबाउट द इनऑर्गेनिक पॉलीमोल्स वो हम डिस्कस करेंगे यहां पे फॉस्फोरस में फॉस्फोरस में एक फॉस्फोरस में वी हैव एन फॉस्फोरस कॉल्ड एज ए पी फोर स्ट्रक्चर इट्स कॉल्ड अ व्हाइट फॉस्फोरस इट्स अ टेट्राहीड्रल फॉर्म ऑफ फॉस्फोरस इट्स कॉल्ड व्हाइट फॉस्फोरस सो इट्स टेट्राहीड्रल सो इट्स लाइक टेट्राहीड्रल वी हैव फॉस्फोरस सो इट्स अ टेट्राहीड्रल टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर fine p4 now if we heat this uh, white phosphorus which is actually tetrahedral when you heat this phosphorus then the, this it forms a polymer like structure that's very interesting so heating the white phosphorus gives us a polymeric phosphorus long chains of ppp phosphorus for example if we heat this up to 500 degree then the phosphorus you should get that's called as a red phosphorus it's a red phosphorus likely when you heat this at 200 degree it's slightly low temperature half of that almost now you will get a phosphorus that is actually better polymeric structure has more ordered polymeric structure but that phosphorus is called as a black phosphorus to ye ek important question isme important questions aate rehte hain is called black phosphorus isme aapko pressure ki bhi zarurat padti hai around uh, high pressure like uh, 1200 atmospheres is case mein then you will get another phosphorus ab is black phosphorus aur red uh, phosphorus mein farak ye hai ki isme jo chains hote hain they are less ordered isme they are more ordered structures so that's all about the phosphorus now let's take the example of the arsenic in our giving polymer from the arsenic now arsenic may we have uh, arsenic jo hai if we heat this arsenic as at low temperatures if you heat this at low temperatures under 100 so what you will get you will get amorphous polymer so you will get amorphous polymer amorphous you know that is me there is no order arrangement of the the uh, chains polymer chains there is no any order definite arrangement and if you heat this at a high temperatures like 200 degree arsenic then you will get a crystal line polymer so you will get That crystalline में जो ज्योमेट्री होती है दैट रॉम्बिक और रॉम्बोहाइड्रल और रॉम्बिक पॉलीमर अब आर्सनिक एंड दैट्स बेसिकली दाईली क्रिस्टलाइन सो इट्स अ क्रिस्टलाइन पॉलीमर एट अ हाई टेम्परेचर यू कैन जनरेट फ्रॉम द आर्सनिक बाई हीटिंग एट टू हंड्रेड डिग्री सो दैट वॉज द एग्जाम्पल फ्रॉम द केस ऑफ दिस ग्रुप fifth now let's move to the last group so we have inorganic polymers where carbon is replaced by the elements of the group 6 that's oxygen family usme jo important hai that is sulfur bahut important sulfur mein usually it exists as s8 and that s8 jo hai is many last topic may be prob probably i discussed this it's like 
S8 is like this type of a structure. This is S8. Now if we heat this S8 sulfur, so which is basically uh, the rhombic sulfur. So this is basically initially rhombic sulfur. So there is cleavage of this bond anywhere then you will get a linear sulfur, a linear sulfur. So we will get a linear uh, polymer upon heating the rhombic sulfur then you get a linear chain that's SSS. So this is the uh, the type of examples which usually uh, they occur in the competitive uh, you know exams or any entrance type exams or your short answer type exams. So this is the basics of the inorganic polymers. So basically inorganic polymers are the polymers where we don't have the carbon and that carbon atom is usually replaced by any element from the group third, four, fifth and six. So these are the basic examples and their uh, characteristic uh, features. This is all about inorganic polymers.